Today we're removing the stereo from a 2008 Hyundai Tucson. Um, there are two styles. We've seen the manual transmission. If you have the manual transmission and the automatic, if you have the uh, manual transmission, the gear shift uh, will spin off. But as for the automatic, we're going to need a small flathead screwdriver, and there's a little tab on the back of the gear shift here that you can put the screwdriver in and remove this small cover. The small cover is then going to gives access to two screws here at the back of the gear shift. And we're going to remove the first, remove the second. There are two screws here. We have a full library of removal guides and videos and do-it-yourself help and speaker removal on our website at carstereohelp.com. With these two screws removed, we'll be able to remove the gear shift. We're going to place the key in the ignition, shift to the on position, and push the white knob down on the uh, gear, sh on the, uh, the white piece down so we can shift to a lower gear. And now with our uh, pry bar, we're going to go in to the edge of this center piece here, and try and get this pry bar in to pry this panel up around the gear shift. Work our way around this. There are clips on it. They will release with pry pressure. And work our way around this panel, right side and the left side. There we go. And that will allow us to pull this panel back and over the gear shift. Now there is a connector here that attaches this, but we're just going to let this panel sit down to the side. I'm going to shift back to park so we don't have to deal with the dinging. And there are six screws that go around, actually eight, one here in the front, way up in the very front, three down the side, two through the middle, and four up the left side as well. We're going to remove all these screws. What this is going to do is remove this metal frame that secures everything here to the center console. Uh, these three up the side are flat heads, while the one towards the front up here is a Phillips regular screw. And we're going to remove this one as well. Now there are two here through the center as well that we want to remove. work just to get a radio taken out of the vehicle. Uh, there are very, there are several styles of radios that fit this car. They're all basically the same or mount the same. They may be different looking in the dash, but depending on where you purchased in the line or what stereo you have, they all go in and hook up the same. Now we're going the screws up the left side as well. Okay, now we're going to get the one up the very front here. Okay. Lift this metal frame up and back from the dash. This will allow us also to pull this frame off to the side. It is attached. Uh, you can take your needle nose pliers and squeeze the tabs together on this little clip here and it, you can force it back through the front if you care to remove that. Now this uh, has loosened or removed this bracket from the front trim panel that goes around the car stereo. Now that we've got this bracket set to the side, there is one more remaining screw down here in the bottom that we're going to remove. It's in the center of this front panel. Try it from both sides, see if one side's easier than the other, but it doesn't matter, it's right in the center. Of course, the gear shift tends to be in the way a little bit. And that will allow us to remove this screw. Now we're going to reach up under the dash here and pull this panel forward from the dash. You better watch the bottom clip so that they clear the side panels down here. The clip or the tab at the bottom clears the side panel and that'll allow us to come up the sides and pull this forward 
this entire panel and it comes loose. I'm going to pull it from the dash a little bit. There are several connectors to the back of this. Uh, I can get into the connectors here in just a little bit once we get a little bit of play in this front panel. Uh, there are connectors even though there are no features here. And we're going to go around this panel. There's many connectors here. Uh, there's a white one here and a blue one. There's also a yellow one here that we do not want to disconnect because we have the airbag sensor here and because we still have the battery connected, we do not want to remove that connector. Now as for these connectors, they are all keyed and only fit one spot like I mentioned. And usually depending on the connector, the trigger is usually towards the top center of it and you squeeze this down right here at the top and it releases and locks. It goes for most of these connectors. Again, the, the, this one has a trigger on the top and you push that down into the connector and you can see how it lowers the little locking clip right up there and you're able to wiggle these connectors loose. Uh, this one's for the AC controls and this one you push the big trigger down on the top. Uh, the main connect, another one of the main connectors for the AC controls has a trigger towards the center and with the edge of your thumb you can push these triggers down and these connectors are released. Again, these connectors are all keyed so they only fit one specific spot. So there is no mistake of putting them back into the wrong spot. Okay, we have all the connectors released, it seems like here. And this is going to allow us to lift the bottom of this panel up and we can show you the back of it here. There are many connectors. There's one here, the light bulb, the cigarette lighter. Actually, those don't need to be removed. But the, there are several connectors to the AC controls, uh, several to the stereo. We have this one yellow connector up here, which is for the airbag sensor. Like I said, this is one you do not want to remove, otherwise it'll give a false sense to the airbag sensor and, and cause you to go to the dealership to uh, reprogram the car to get that airbag sensor light to come out. But we're going to move the front panel up to the top of the dash. Now this is going to give us access to the car stereo. There are four screws securing the car stereo to the dash. One on the bottom right here, one on the uh, top right, one on the top left, and one at the bottom left here as well. Now if you happen to have a dead stereo and you've checked all the fuses in the car, the ones under the hood as well, uh, there are usually two power supplies or two fuses for each stereo. One is a constant power so that the radio can continue to hold its memory for its preset buttons. That one is usually out under the hood. And then usually inside the passenger compartment here in the fuse panel there is a fuse for the radio. Now we have these screws removed. We're going to see if we can pull the stereo out of the dash. There it goes, wiggling it loose, it's going to come forward. Now we have seen some of these models. Uh, if you've checked all the fuses for a dead stereo, um, we'll get, there's usually a fuse on the back of the radio as well. This one doesn't have one. The antenna is just a press fit. You just grasp the base of that and it releases. The uh, main connector to the stereo again has a trigger on it. And we're going to squeeze that trigger down and wiggle this connector loose. Uh, this is how you remove the stereo from a Hyundai Tucson. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. See our website if you have any other problems.